Hey everyone, it's Sheena from Crafty Mama Studios here with another 3D shadow box tutorial. My husband and I were driving the other day and passed some birds and he looked over at me and said, you should design an eagle with a flag. So I got to work. On all my shadow box files, I number the layers at the bottom right hand corner so you'll know which layer should go next. This is really helpful to keep the layers in order for assembly, and also when you're cutting, you can match your paper color with the number so you don't accidentally cut a layer in the wrong color. Before I start cutting, I get all my paper out and number it in a corner so I can match my paper number with the number that shows up in the design to keep everything correct. I use both a Cricut and a Silhouette while cutting, so I'm familiar with both and can answer any questions you might have. For the Silhouette, I use a custom setting of Blade Depth 5, Force 20, Passes 2, and Speed 2, and that seems to work for most papers. For the Cricut, I use the intricate cardstock setting, and it works great. If you notice, I don't use a lot of foam tape in my projects because they're just for personal use. I try to waste as little as possible. So I just put on enough to hold it all together. For selling purposes, you want to scatter the tape all around the project wherever it'll give a bit of support. I don't pull the backing off the foam tape that's going in the middle until I have that layer laid down. This helps me get the layer lined up without getting the middle stuck. I can then easily go back and pull the backing off to stick the middle right in place. I went with all foam tape on this one to give it the deep dimension that I was really looking for. Because we start with the back layer when assembling, my shadow box files are all numbered with the number one at the bottom and going up from there. The two layers I don't number are the full square at the back and the top border piece. Leaving both of these without numbers just makes the cut go a little faster. And there you have it, an all American shadow box perfect for you to keep, sell the finished project, or give away as a gift. Do you have an idea for a shadow box you'd like created? Leave me a comment and I'll see about adding it to my growing collection. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and make sure to click the bell to be notified when I create new projects.